Hello! Welcome to Scrap and Rabbit on YouTube. I'm going to show you my new little album, mini album set that I made. This one is a birdhouse and it's a, bo a box shaped like a birdhouse and then on the inside I've got the album similar to my clock album set only this one is a little bit smaller than the clock album set. So let me take you through it. I made this with mostly paper that I had in my stash and a few sheets from the Forever in Time, I think it's called Crazy Cats or something, there's some, uh, a line of paper that has all these little cartoon type cats on it, it's really cute. And I think I was using about six sheets to make the album inside. So this has some little bling on the outside, the hole for the birdhouse, and there's uh, petals for the flower. I've got some little pearl bling here and a trim border. This is a cat. I had a larger one cut with my Cricut and my Cricut stopped working. The dial size doesn't work. The size dial doesn't work anymore. So I used my photocopier to make the image a bit smaller and then I cut it out by hand. But I really like this cute little cat and I put googly eyes on him. And he's attracting the birds with his for rent cheap cheap sign. And here I have a little post and there's a little bird that I attached here. And then I've got these cabbage carnations on the bottom and a punched border. On the side I have some more flowers, another little bird here that I die cut. And then on this side I have a large flower and a pearl center and I've got some bling around the bottom. The back of the box is plainer. Okay, and I've got a little bit of bling there and some punched borders. And here on the top of the album I have strips of the paper that I was talking about with the, the cats on it and I've got some more bling at the top. So this album is made for pet cats and I thought that the birdhouse was kind of a cute little idea for a whimsical album. So here's the album inside. And here's the paper from Forever in Time, Little Cat Chasing a Mouse. I've got little flowers here, little bird that's die cut, punched border, some more cats here. And on the side, the title reads My Angel on a piece of chipboard. And I attached a little cat charm and I've got a little bell here on the red ribbon. It matches a little collar on the cat. My neighbor's cat has a bell on it to warn the birds because he's a bit of a hunter. And here on the back, there's a beautiful paper. It's got some glitter in it. And I really, really like this line. So let's look inside the album. This is a little bit different than my usual albums because I used these clips to attach the pages. And this is from Tim Holtz, and they come in a set of two. And I also used some paper bags for the inside pages. So here again is the paper and this opens and there's room for a photo back there, a photo mat here, room for a photo there and you can always slide some more photos in there. And then inside each of the paper bags there's just a plain piece of brightly colored cardstock for journaling or for photos on there and there's tons of room to add some more mementos in here. So I'll just take you through the pages quickly just to show you the paper line. Now most of this, like I said, is, used, uh, is using paper that I had in my leftover stash. So it's a good way to use up these little bits. And this is such a brightly colored paper that it's easy to, to coordinate with um, with other brightly colored papers. A little cat sleeping here. There. And this can be used for journaling. Balls of yarn. And there's another, another little cat the fish bowl, you can slide something behind there. And then more cats here. 
and on the inside. So these are all a mix of different papers from various collections. Now, this album, like I said, is a little bit different because these clips aren't very large. I think they measure just about one inch. You can't put a whole lot of, of pages in here. So what I did is I made another cover inside the album and I'm using this little game spinner. And this opens like that. So you could put some photos here and here. And these are all just plain photo mats. And again, I use paper for my stash and I just made them two-sided. Or you can always just leave one side without matting and you can use a nice golden sharpie to journal on. So you can add as many more photo mats here as you want because there's lots of room for these single mats. So there's lots of room for photos in this album in the end. So I hope you like this. It's a different style. I will be doing a tutorial on it, I think, but summer's usually pretty busy for me, so I probably won't have it ready until September. I'll work on it over the course of the summer. Oh, and this album measures seven inches wide by five and three quarters, and the spine is about three and a half inches. So the next album that I'm going to do in this style, in the tutorial, I think will probably be uh, an album maybe with just birds in it for an all-occasion theme. I just thought this little cat album was kind of cute to have in a birdhouse. So I hope you like it. Have a nice day and happy crafting.